Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. In this video, which is about mutual inductance, uh, I'll be solving example 13. Uh, sorry, uh, end chapter question 13.22, which looks very very interesting. And in this, we have to find the current I zero, which is this current. So let's proceed. Okay, so this is the original question. I zero we have to find. So the first thing we will do is write the branch currents just for our ease I A, I B and I C even if you don't write no problem you can write in terms of the loop currents and the loop currents this one we have named I1 this I have named I2 and this is I3 now one uh, interesting point to note is this: these arrows they show the mutual linking between the coils. So this coil is mutually linked with this one and the value of um, M is J10. Mutual inductance is J10 in this case. Between these two it is J30 and between these two it is J20. So we have to uh, keep this in mind. Okay, now uh, we have all the parameters, the currents and the mutual inductances, the linkage and now we need to find the mutual induced voltages. So first uh, I am taking this branch here and this there will, be, there will be a voltage induced due to this current through this coil. So I am writing this box, the voltage box, this will be due to current IA. And similarly, this is also linked, therefore there will be a voltage induced due to current IC. Now we have to uh, uh, write their values. So the values of this one, uh, due to this will be current multiplied by M, so J10 IA, and similarly this will be J30 IC. So this done, we now need to mark the polarity. We know that current entering the dot here so there will be dot positive that means the lower end will be positive so lower end of this one should be positive similarly here also current entering the dot so the lower end should be positive so here also there should be a positive sign just as shown here okay so with this concept in mind we can write the mutual currents in all three uh, uh, branches or in all three inductances okay so I hope you can now follow this one just look uh, here it will be because of IB and also because of IC so this is IC and this is due to IB and similarly in this there will be one due to IA and one due to IB so IB and IA and the polarity I hope you can now write the polarity uh, by following the dot convention. Okay, with this now we connect the circuit. So we have connected the circuit and now we are in a position to write the KVL equation. Okay, so before that we just uh, keep in mind what is IB? IB we have written ourselves actually it is uh, if you see from here it is IA minus I3. So I A, uh, I A is I1 minus I3, sorry. And similarly, I B is I2 minus I1. I B is I2 minus I1. And I C is I3 minus I2. And I0, which we need to find, is actually I3. So if you find I3, we have found I0. KVL loop 1, we are going from here, minus 50, then we write this with the plus sign, then we write J40 with IA plus sign, so minus 50, 20 IC, J40 IA plus J10 IB, then this is a minus sign, so J30 IC, and this will also have a minus sign at the top because this current is going touching first this is positive and this will be negative that is why we'll write minus j80 ib 
and then minus j10 a. So this is the first loop equation. Now uh, we convert or simplify them and convert i a, i b, i c in terms of i1, i2, i3. So this is what have been done, simplified here, convert i a, i b and i c and for again uh, collecting the like terms. So this is our final value for mesh 1. Now you can see some people might get confused. How did I get from here this one? So if you just multiply whole thing by minus j, then this will become minus j square, which makes it plus 1. And similarly, these I hope you can calculate. So this is equation number 1. Similarly, for loop 2, from here, you can pause the video and follow the steps. And loop 3, this loop, writing the steps. So now we have three uh, equations for three variables. These are the three values. So the easiest way to solve is by <coughs> taking help of matrix. So 10 minus 60 minus 4, then minus 6 plus this term minus 2. So we have write, written the uh, whole thing in matrix form. And now uh, the easiest way is to solve with the help of a calculator in complex mode. So I'll try to demonstrate. I also have a separate video on how to solve 3 by 3 matrix with the calculator. Okay, so in the calculator we have these 8 variables available. So we'll try to use these A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, M. So we have named these A, B, C, D, E, F wherever they are same value. So this is the same and this one. So we completed all the eight variables and now we need to find I3. So I3 is basically a delta 3 over delta. Now delta is this whole matrix and for delta 3 we have to replace the third column with the help of a output. So we have replaced the third column with the help of output. And now we can write this equation, you know, A is now A common, then E Y minus X F, E Y minus X F. And same way, this will be minus B, D Y C F, D Y minus C F, and C D X C E. Okay, and similarly this one, these two terms are zero. So our I3 equation will be like this. And uh, when we use the calculator, we'll get this answer. So we'll see in the next slide, I'll try to incorporate the calculator. Okay, so I'm just copied the, the whole thing and I'll uh, try to use the calculator here. Uh, the first thing you, you have to do is this has been done. Uh, click on AC and then irrespective of what is given, you go to alpha mode complex 2. So complex, so now we are in complex mode. And now we'll try to incorporate this. Now this is in two parts, uh, numerator and denominator. So we'll select this. And in the numerator now we'll write M D X minus C E. Now to write all these values A, B, C, D, E, we have to first press alpha and then the value. So if alpha M, this is M, bracket dx minus ce so alpha d alpha x minus ce alpha c alpha e bracket closed now we have to come to the denominator so we press this so we are in the denominator and same way now we need to write 
alpha e y minus x f so alpha then a bracket alpha e alpha y minus x f alpha x alpha f bracket closed minus b dy minus c f b bracket d y minus c f c and f bracket close plus sign alpha c bracket dx d x minus c e bracket close so this we have done now we have to press this calculate option so calculate now it's asking the value of m now we have to come here and from here or here or here better is follow this m is minus j5 so we'll write minus 5 and for j we write i so this is i sign so minus 5 i enter or equal then asking the value of d from d is minus j 60 so minus 60 i equal x x is minus 2 minus 2 equal c c is minus 4 minus 4 equal e okay e is 100 plus j 80 so it is 100 plus 80 i 100 plus 80 okay equal a where is a a is 10 so just write 10 enter y y is 1 1 f f is minus j20 so minus 20 i equal b minus 6 minus 6 equal okay so this is the answer in terms of a, uh, a rectangular form but this is not very uh, easy to visualize so what we'll do we'll press this sd sign so this is in terms of a rectangular value so it's 5 9 1.16 hours is close uh, maybe we might have made some mistake and now to see it in polar form we have to press shift complex we get three arguments we we need to select third number polar angle theta so three equal sign and again this is in uh, under root form so we'll press sd okay so 1.3 1.3 angle 62 hours is 1.57 angle 66.